Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Today friends, I will be starting with a new series of uh, lectures which is based upon the Shiva Sutra. You see, Shiva has given many sutras and there are almost 75 sutras. And these sutras are very important to understand the whole life or the whole mechanism of life. Not only life, it contains the mechanism of how this whole cosmos has come into being. But friends, I think that now I should be speaking on the sutras from the student's point of view. How can a student, how can a layman who is curious to know or understand life and for all those people who do not understand the complex terminology of spirituality and science. So keeping these points in view I would like to elaborate uh, all the sutras one by one of Shiva, Lord Shiva. Although there are many scriptures in Hinduism, in Buddhism, in Jainism and in all the other communities and there are so many important books like Sankh Yoga, Shiva Sutra, Patanjali Yoga, Yoga Vasisht, etc. And in all these scriptures, in all these important books, many sutras have been given which are very very important to understand life. I am saying all this because I observe that students in general, they don't have any idea about what these books or what these scriptures have got in order to understand the life as it is or to understand the origin of this whole cosmos. Now scientists have come upon the principles which have been elaborated in these scriptures. Now they are feeling that the sutras which have been given are really fantastic they are true now they are talking about the sutras and they are researching a lot in the sutras and they are finding and discovering many mysteries of life now in the same <coughs> perspective firstly the first book I want to start with is Shiva Sutra this book or this treaty has 75 sutras in all now in this episode I will start with the first sutras of Shiva the first sutra says Chaitanya Mahatma means Consciousness is Self. Now Shiva in this Sutra is talking about or is indicating towards the real Self. The reality from which everything else has originated. He is indicating towards something which is not which cannot be imagined which cannot be measured which is not touched by any time or space which cannot be grasped by the intellect of humankind he is indicating towards that self and he is saying that self that original being if I may use this word being that original being is pure consciousness 
चैतन्य महात्मा मीन्स द आत्मा मीन्स समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी इंटेंसिक वेरी वेरी सटल एंड फ्रॉम दैट ओरिजिनल सोर्स एवरीथिंग एल्स द होल कॉस्मोस हैज ओरिजिनेटेड ही इज इंडिकेटिंग टूवर्ड्स दैट नाउ फ्रेंड्स यू मे बी थिंकिंग दैट हाउ डज दिस सेल्फ प्योर सेल्फ विच इज कॉन्शियसनेस हाउ कैन आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्शियसनेस we cannot understand that consciousness because we are the product of that real self we are not that real self in imagination in the creation creation always takes place in time creation means the time and space that is creation the whole creation is within that original self that is atma which is pure consciousness but that pure consciousness is dynamic very very dynamic and it has basically two elements basic elements in sankhya yoga they always talk about the people who understand sankhya yoga they always talk about the two types of elements the basic elements mool elements prakriti and purush likewise in that pure self there are two types of energy you can say in yogic science also we have been saying there is a energy which is horizontal and there is a energy which is vertical vertical is energy which controls that energy which is horizontal so this is a set of two types of energies that is why this pure system of energy is dynamic in nature if there is only one energy only one it cannot produce anything it will not be come into existence at all it cannot do anything means there is no value in being only one element so the original system has got two main elements one is the energy which is being controlled and the second is the energy which is controlling that energy so this is the set of two energies so in that pure consciousness which is the pure self okay there are two types of energies right and that is why they are dynamic one energy is controlling is applying itself on the lower energy right so shiva is indicating towards that and that is the moon that is the origin and because of that only everything has come into being the whole creation happened because of that only that is called consciousness so shiva says consciousness is self that is the real self that is the real being self means self does not mean our self okay our self means i but in that there is no feeling of i or other in fact there is no experience at all because there is no time and experience is time so all these things are not there in that purity so that purity is chaitanya mahatma that is atma that is self that is pure consciousness now over to sharma ji sharma ji will be explaining about this sutra shiva sutra shiva says chaitanya mahatma consciousness is self consciousness is atma sharma ji yogic science ke aadhar par agar uh, hum e shiv sutra ko dekhe to jo chaitanya atma ki baat ho rahi hai usme 
वो ये कह रहे हैं उसमें कि जो आत्मा की बात करते हैं एक एक चेतन स्थिति है तो चेतन स्थिति आत्मा के ऊपर एक तरीके का चेतन जो आत्मा है जिसकी आत्मा की बात करते हैं आत्मा अपने में खुद चेतन है और बिल्कुल स्पष्ट चेतन है उसकी चेतन्यता एक अपने तरीके की है तो उसके चाल भी एक अपने तरीके की है मगर जब चेतन्य की बात करते हैं तो चेतन्य उसके ऊपर अगर देखा जाए तो ऐसी चेतन वो वो तो आत्मा तो अपने चेतन है मगर एक ऐसे चेतन से उसे खुद खुद को उसने ढका जिससे वो कोई चीज बन के नजर आ रही है अब वो बनी हुई चीज नजर आ रही है जो चीज बनी हुई नजर आ रही है वहां आत्मा कहीं नजर नहीं आ रही इसलिए चेतन शब्द पहले लिया गया उसमें चेतन्यो आत्मा कि आत्मा तो खुद चेतन थी चेतन है और वो उसने उसके जो आवरण लिया है वो चेतन का है अर्थात जो आत्मा है वो आत्मा ने अपने चेतन अंगों को इस तरीके से अपने को ढका कि वो अब खुद तो कहीं पर दिखाई नहीं देती है ना ढूंढने से नजर आती है मगर चेतन्य जो है जो चेतन्य की बात कर रहे हैं ये चेतन्य सब जगह दिखाई देगा ये तो सारा सब चेतन है ये तो जी ये प्राणी है ये पौधे हैं ये सब चेतन है ब्रह्मांड सारा चेतन है खूब बातें करो बातें करने में इसमें कोई मना नहीं है रोक टोक नहीं है तो वो ये बात जो कर रहे हैं चेतन पहला शब्द लिया है उन्होंने आत्मा बाद का शब्द लिया आत्मा चेतन भी कह सकते थे वो तो बड़ी ये गहराई वाली चीज जो शिव सूत्र में बताई गई कि चेतन्यो आत्मा तो चेतन से पूरा कवर हो हो रखा है वो ऐसे ही वहाँ सिद्धांत में भी यही है तो सिद्धांत उस आत्मा के दोनों अंग हैं जो उसका फार्मूला है वो उस आत्मा के दोनों अंग हैं और वो अंग जो है अंगों से ढका हुआ है अब हमें हमें आप ले लो हमें आप बताइए हमारा नाम बी आर शर्मा है किसको कहोगे हाथ को कहोगे मुंह को कहोगे नाक को कहोगे सज को कहोगे कहाँ है ढका हुआ है पूरा ढका हुआ अंगों से ढका हुआ है तो अंगों के तो नाम हो सकते हैं मगर वो चीज जिसका हम आत्मा आत्मा चिल्ला रहे हैं वो कहीं भी किसी भी मशीन से ढूंढने से शरीर में ढूंढने पर नजर नहीं आती है मगर है वो एक है एक ऐसी स्थिति है इतनी सूक्ष्म स्थिति है कि वो एक फार्मूला से ढकी हुई है तो वो सूक्ष्म स्थिति है और वही महान स्थिति जो सूक्ष्म है वही सुप्रीम है वही महान है वही आत्मा है इसी वजह से ये सारा आ, अनुभव जो हम बात कर रहे हैं जिस अनुभव के आधार पर हम बात कर रहे हैं वो बहुत सारी ब्रह्मांड की ये सब बहुत बातें कर रहे हैं ये उसी वजह से कर रहे हैं मगर जब वहाँ पर जाएंगे तो ये कोई बातें आते नहीं होती हैं वहाँ अपने में चेतन के सिवाय और कुछ नहीं है और आत्मा के सिवाय और कुछ नहीं है मिस्टर व्हाट शर्मा जी सेइंग इज दैट द चैतन्य आत्मा आत्मा और कॉन्शियसनेस इट इज द प्योर चैतन्य प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस इट डज नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इट डज नॉट हैव एनी फॉर्म राइट एनी नेम और फॉर्म ओके डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट इन दैट प्योर एनर्जी so that is pure energy but it is made up of two elements right and because of these two elements there is so much of energy and dynamism in that essential being in that consciousness and that is our original self and uh, this is what the shiva is indicating towards now in the next episode uh, we will take uh, other sutras one or two sutras will be taking in each episodes and we'll be discussing about these episodes about these sutras from the students and common people point of view so that we can elaborate these things these mysterious things to them in simple words thank you